Now that you've launched your poll and you've ended your meeting, the next step is logically to download the results of those polls. So first we're going to sign in at alamo.zoom.us using your ACES credentials. On the left hand side are our menu options. We're going to go to the reports page. It's the last option. Once I'm here, I'm given two choices, usage or meeting. The usage reports gives you the participant information when they logged in, how long were they at the session. It really helps for more attendance purposes. The meeting results, that's where we're going to get our poll reports. So I'm going to click meeting. Now we're on the meeting report page. The first question we're asked is what type of report we're trying to download. We are trying to download a poll report. Be careful with this option. I sometimes forget to check this and then registration report most likely doesn't exist for your normal meetings. That only applies if you have participants register before they sign up to go to your meeting. Most of us don't do that unless it's a large campus event. The next option says to search by time range. You can search by meeting ID, but I find it's easier for the time range because I usually know when or what meeting I'm looking for. I'm going to use an example from Convocation Week. So I'm going back to August 17th through August 21st and then I'm going to hit search. Now a couple items here I just want to comment on. First it says maximum report duration is one month. That does not mean that your reports will only be kept for a month. It means you can only search one month at a time. So 30 days. So I wouldn't have been able to go back to set this to July 17th through the 21st of August because it's longer than a month. So you can only search one month at a time. And it also says the report displays poll information for meetings that ended at least five minutes ago. So you can get your results from your polls fairly quickly after your meeting ends. I'm going to hit search and it shows me all the meetings that I had between August 17th and August 21st. Now I do have to be careful because I did not use a poll at all of these meetings. For example, I didn't use one at the pre-norming session. So if I click generate, I would get an empty spreadsheet. I did use a poll during the online group learning. So I'm going to click generate. Now that we've hit generate, I'm taken to the report queue page. So I'm just waiting for my report to generate. Now this report was pretty short, so it's already ready to go. You might see the word processing here, and it usually takes about one to two minutes for a report to generate. Now when you're ready, you click download, it will open a spreadsheet, and it will have all the results from your survey or your poll that you used during your meeting, along with the participants' names and what answer choices they selected on the poll. It's perfect for formative assessment.